I'm Jake with Jake Rouse Taxidermy in Raleigh, North Carolina. We're a full-time taxidermy studio. Um, one of the questions I get asked the most is about caping a white-tailed deer. So we decided to do a short video today on how to cape out a deer properly. Um, I've got tape on this deer illustrating where the cuts will be at. This deer has already been field dressed. Um, one of the more common mistakes is the cape being cut too short here or the brisket being cut out in here. So the blue tape illustrate where to make your cuts to help as a visual aid. Down here, you can see we're nowhere near this brisket with these lines. So this will leave plenty of cape for a quality mount. As you can see on the form, it goes all the way down in between these legs. The tools that I will be using today to do this, a sawzall and a sharp knife. The first cuts I'll make is I'll cut around the legs, below the knees, on both sides. Then I will be going up this blue tape to the center line and up this blue tape to this center line. And then I will be going all the way around the belly and then start peeling all of this down. I like to get the cape off first before I skin the back half. That way all of this extra skin isn't hanging down over where I'm making my cuts. So now with my knife, I'll be making my cuts around my leg. Then I'll take my knife, I'm going right up the back of the leg. And I always like cutting from the inside so I don't get hair all over the meat. Then we'll make our incision around. We're going all the way around the deer. Staying well behind the shoulders. So about six inches behind the shoulders is where I like to do it. And now, we've got it cut all the way around exactly where our blue tape was at earlier. That is the only cuts I'm making the hide while keeping it out. Now we just pull all the skin down. A little tight in here in the armpits. Just make sure you stay up next to your meat. You don't want to cut your hide. Just bring it on down. Just 
just like so. All right, we just keep separating the muscle from the skin. Get all the way down in the back of these armpits. Come all the way around the leg. If you got a little bit more meat on your hide, that's fine. We'll trim that off. Just, I'd rather trim meat and, and sew holes. This is one of the areas, the armpits in here is a little bit tough, but just take your time. When I get to this point, a lot of times I'll bring a chair up, it's easier on your back, and then you can get it all the way down to the back of the head.
All right, now we're all the way down to the back of the head, right here. This is where we'll saw it off. I take my knife. Through the meat. Now when I'm cutting with the sawzall, I make sure my hide stays down below and does not get caught up in this blade. And here it is. Now we got our head separated from our body. Plenty of cape. Now this is how you can bring it to a taxidermist as long as your um, laws for CWD don't come into play. I have another video on YouTube that explains how to get this skull out of this hide for your CWD transfers. Um, some more tips to go along with this is I will bag this up in a trash bag and keep it cold, like put it in the trash bag and put ice on the outside of the back. You want to keep this dry and cold. You can store it in the fridge for like 24 hours or you can bag it up and put it in the freezer. I hope this video helps y'all with a lot of your questions on how to cape deer out. Um, go to our YouTube page, like and subscribe and um, thanks for the watch.